seniors and their friends. I will be speaking on the Lenovo Safe Transplantation in the chair. Vitligo is an acquired detrimenting disorder set back by white mercury and historically by an absence of functional melanocytes in the vegetation. Conventional medical therapy takes a long time to recover the condition and are effective only in 50 to 60 percent of the cases. So there is a need of surgical treatment for pigmentation. After Vitligo has become stable, these patches will need pigment transfer, whatever method is suitable. There are several aspects which needs consideration while surgery. What is the minimum duration of stability? Is stability patient specific, area specific, or lesion specific? Validity of test drafting, induced versus spontaneous stability. IADV task force suggests criteria of stability as no new lesion, no progression of existing lesion, and absence of tubular phenomena during past one year. And, and the society has also stressed here that the treating physician should always consider each patient individually and exercise his own judgment. Treatment modalities are medical and surgical. In surgical, we have tissue grafting and cellular grafting. Our goal is to restore function of skin and to improve patient's appearance. Transplantation of non-cultural epidermal suspension are gaining popularity because of small donor skin used to cover large vitreo area and is having good aesthetic result. The procedural steps to perform melanocyte transplantation are harvest of a skin graft, trypsinization, incubation, dermabrasion, separation of epidermis from dermis. Epidermis is broken down into small pieces, then centrifugation, and suspension is applied onto the recipient area. First, we have harvest skin graft, and uh, the skin graft is put in trypsin solution, which is then incubated at 37 degrees centigrade for 45 to 60 minutes. In the meantime, we can do dermabrasion. After trypsinization, graft is washed with the digital lactate to remove trypsin, and the dermis was teased gently and separated from from the epidermis. In the petri dish, you can see. The epidermal pieces were scraped or you know and shaped. The the mineral side cells and they are being separated. Here the dermis is being separated and uh, the cells you have to uh, remove the cells from the uh, skin by shaking or scrape, scraping method. The epidermal suspension is then transferred to a test tube, centrifuge for 10 minutes at 1000 rpm. <coughs> Pellet at the bottom is resuspended with in hydroxyl propyl methyl cellulose and make paste for application over the dermabrated area. This, uh, this paste is uh, uh, applied over the dermabrated area. After application of a paste, the, it, it is dressed with collagen and after dressing, the patient is instructed to lie still at least for one hour to ensure self-fixation and to limit movements for another two days. Uh, this is pre-op. Uh, this is uh, the paste is applied over the dermabrated skin. This is left hand. Uh, this is post-op after two months. And this is after one and a half years. Both, uh, both hand were, uh, both uh, it was melanocyte transplant trans transplantation done on both both hands. You can see uh, there almost there is no scar. There is no patch of skin graft. Onset of pigmentation starts from three weeks and takes almost three to six months for vitiligo patch to achieve significant pigmentation. These are the appearance of melanocyte transplanted skin at different areas after 3 to 8 weeks. This is a clavicular area, this is trunk, this is foot, this is forearm and this is right side of the breast. 
here you can see the result after two years. There is no skin patch or like there is no, nothing like uh, there is no scar also. Uh, Preauricular reason here. This is the villain side transplanted skin after one and a half years. Post op after two years. This is the area, the transplanted skin area, and this is here. You can almost see there is no scar, there is no skin patch like this. Uh, this is post op after two years over forehead and uh, both lower eyelid. I have done more than 50 cases in last 7 years and I found that this procedure has shown good results in vitiligo while there is true. Although the literature says it has good results only in segmental vitiligo. Repigmentation of vitiligo area itself shows transfer of viable cells. So there is no need of lab test. Literature says it is a costly procedure and involves lab. But our operation theater has sterile environment and the reagent and materials used are definitely not costly. Pre-external area are prone to hypertrophic scar and one can, one can do this procedure without the fear of scarring. This is a uh, skin grafted area, it looks like a patch and this is the area where Miller site transplant, transplantation was done. This is post of one year, this is also post of say eight, eight to nine months. This procedure needs less donor skin. It has the least side effect and better cosmesis as compared to other procedures. To conclude, melanocyte transplantation is one of the novel techniques and is safe.